Welcome to Port Miami here in Miami, Florida. It is cruise day. Cruise day! But what are we sailing on? <gasps> no, not that one. Even though we obviously love it. But we are sailing on this bad boy. The Norwegian Joy out of the very cool new Terminal B. That's right, our first ever Norwegian cruise is about to begin. So excited to see what it's all about. So excited to sail again. Let's head on board. It's time to get it started. Day number one on board the Norwegian Joy begins right now. Joy to cruising, I love it so much. Let's go. Now we, as you can see, are parking in the parking garage and how it worked is that they just, when you go into the parking garage, they give you like a ticket and then you pay for it when you get off the cruise. And I don't know how much that is right now, but I'll find out and I'll put that information right here. Oh, interpretive artwork. Drop off your luggage if you want to. We're heading into the terminal. First Norwegian sailing, I'm so excited. This terminal is really nice so far. Definitely new. I like the NCL art up there. It's air conditioning, organized. About all you can ask for for a terminal. Hey Matt, you know what you're on right now? What? The stairway to heaven. It's or an escalator. The escalator to the to the to the cruise ship. Right. <laughs> we made it to the other side of the terminal. So we went through security, obviously, and obviously we couldn't show it or anything, but it was, it, it, the security stuff went well. Um, the system, like the, the, like the conveyor that takes your stuff is like pretty cool and like modern. So that worked out well. Um, it it kind of got backed up there for a while. Um, just, I think a lot of people got here at around the same time. Um, we, we got to the parking garage at 1230 and it's about 130 now. So from parking garage to getting through security was about an hour. So it took a little bit of time, but not bad. And now we're through the hard part. Hardest part of the cruise is done. Now we're ready to have some fun. There she is, there she is. Oh look, it's our first look at like the whole painting. Cause every Norwegian ship like has like paintings on the whole of the ship. There's a column. Oh look, yay to color. I'm so excited. This is gonna be such a fun sailing. Yay, yay, yay. Going on the cruise. Yay, going on the cruise. Hey Matt, you excited? Yes. I'm really excited. I can tell. Take a good look. This is the last time these all birds covered footsies haven't been on a Norwegian ship. Get ready. We're about to go. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. <laughs> Walking through the tunnel of fun so we can have a great, great, super great long intro. Having to pause. Wait for it. Cruise. Yay! So this is interesting. They had us board the ship like which side of the terminal we went on based on our muster station. So I'm very curious if they're just going to like direct us straight to our muster station, which is station D. And so we take care of it right now. Let, let's see where the herd takes us. Ah, it did direct us to our muster station. So I guess that's the deal with at least how Norwegian Joy is doing it, is that you get on board, you go to your muster station and take care of that business. Good with me. But you don't need to come back here. You're free so good. You scan already. Good. All right, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. That was really simple and easy. They scanned. They told us this is our muster station. This is where you go on our way. So good job, Norwegian. That was a very efficient and smart way of doing muster. Whoa. That is amazing. Look, it changes colors. Okay. I see you, Norwegian Joy. You're bringing in color? That's the best way to my heart. Whoa, so cool. Go into the stateroom, go into the stateroom. Narrow hallways, huh? Yeah. Not that it's a problem, but just I noticed. Well, we'll, uh, we'll work on our, uh, our driving skills with the luggage. And here's something cool. 
we upgraded to a suite and we're traveling with my dad and he doesn't know. <laughs> so it's gonna be a surprise. Was it was it say about fourteen six oh five? There's no bed. <laughs> it might be a sweet deal. A little VIP. upgrade. That might be why it says VIP. We upgraded to a suite. VIP. More <laughs> the VIP because it's your birthday. Okay, so the lights were off, so it was hard to see. There, <laughs> there are beds. There's a room there and a room there. So here's a look. So we have a virtual balcony, but we have like all this living space. We have a like me and Matt's bedroom, like over here with a bathroom. And then my dad's gonna have his own room over here. Great. Right. Isn't this cool? Thanks, guys, I appreciate it. Whoa, this is my dad's bathroom. Like, so like the smaller side, and it's like actually really big. And like a glass shower. Perfect. This is nice. Perfect. Perfect that my daughter messed with it. <laughs> so on the key card, it says, uh, like VIP, cause you're in a suite. And my dad was like, why does it say VIP on our key cards? Like, like what's that about? And I was like, oh, it must have been because you've sailed with Norwegian before. So you like get priority or something. <laughs> the old trickster gene doesn't fall far from the, the tree. apple tree. <laughs> the tree. Oh yeah, so got these sweet digs, the family suite here on board the Norwegian Joy with our virtual balcony. Now we did not actually intend to have this room. This is not what we initially booked. We actually initially just booked a standard balcony room, but we were sent an email and a notification from Norwegian that we could participate in the Norwegian Advantage program, which is where you bid on stateroom upgrades, similar to Royal Up with Royal Caribbean or the celebrity, what do they call it? Move Up or something. I always forget all the exact names, um, but it's where you bid on a stateroom upgrade. So that's what we did. And we didn't even People always ask, how much do you have to bid? Because they give you those little slides and meters that say poor bid or like amazing bid or whatever. Ours for just reference was kind of like right in the middle and they took it. So we're very excited to be able to get this room for much less than we would have had to pay for it straight up. And it worked out really good because it was just my dad's birthday a couple days ago. So I mean like what better way to celebrate than in this awesome room. I think it's really cool too. Like this room can sleep up to six. That's so why it's the family suite, right? So you can have so many people you can spread out. Yeah. Uh, check out the full tour of the room if you want to get the idea of how it's laid out. Mm -hmm. uh, but we only have three in our party, but it's going to work amazing for that. Yeah. Each of us having our own bedrooms, our own bathroom, yeah. the awesome living space with the dining and the you know couch and all that. And there's another good reason why it's really nice that we got the upgrade for the sailing. This is a 12, count them, 12 night itinerary our longest cruise ever going to all these really really cool ports a lot of them new to us so glad we had the extra space and so excited for the sailing <laughs> Got a nice corner booth set up here at the local bar and grill. We were gonna go to the buffet, but it just closed. So we're coming here to the local, which is included with your cruise fare. Cruise fare, excuse me. Check out the menu here. Got a nice list of starters and some handhelds, sandwiches, burgers, things like that. And then over here we have some other favorites like fish and chips, which is probably what I'm gonna get, as well as some desserts. And since it's a bar and grill, they also have different drinks. So they have some different cocktails. Get an idea of how much those cost. Some other drinks as well, like beer and soda, special water, energy drinks, and then a selection of wines. And while we're waiting, this is cool. I just opened up the Norwegian app and hit this little messenger button, and you can purchase unlimited onboard calls and onboard texts for $9.95 for the entire cruise through the Norwegian app. We got some starters, and I got some wings, and I got the uh, sweet chili wings, and those 
those look uh, mouth-wateringly delectable, if I do say so myself. And we also got some pretzel bites. Looks like it came a little cheese dipping sauce there. And these are just the appetizers. Wings are super tender and good, by the way. And the entrees have arrived. I think this is pretty self-explanatory. It's a burger, but it's actually the Wrangler burger, and I got it without the sautéed onions. Oh, it's a special burger. It's a special burger, not just any burger, a special burger. I got fish and chips. I can't believe this place is included. To get wings included is, is just wild. And everything's been really good so far. Dessert has arrived. I got apple pie with ice cream. And look at those healthy portions there, man. That's huge. And they brought it right out, too. It was ready to go. What did you get? I got um, a brownie. Like, it's brownie on the bottom, and then it's, like, cheesecake on top. And Dad got the same thing. And look, it, it's, like, little chocolate sticks kind of thing. Pirouettes. <laughs> It is almost that time. Oh wow, that looks weird. There we go. How about that? That's, well, kind of better. I don't know what's going on there, but you can tell what it says. Still got some time until we actually sail away, but we can say goodbye to our friend Harmony of the Seas. And the funny thing is, we're in the back of the ship right now. It's Spice H2O. So the aft section, and looking out again, there's Harmony heading out, and of course that's the uh, the channel, and then out to sea. But like I said, we're in the back right now, so we're actually kind of turned around. Normally, the forward part of the ship is facing the way the ship is going to sail out. So much like when we were on, I believe, Scarlet Lady with Virgin Voyages in the same port, we believe what we're going to have to do is turn around, or not turn around. We're actually going to have to go down the channel up towards the city, then turn around at the turning basin, and. And then sail out so which is kind of cool actually because you get an extra long sail away that's why i like it because you get like extra long sail away you get to go down like the whole channel kind yeah. of like twice so it's especially cool with the norwegian terminal we're at because as you can see we're all the way almost at the end of the channel here there's not much further past this point so if you just sailed away from here it would not be very long so it'll be nice to get the extra time Goodbye Miami, goodbye South Beach, goodbye Florida. We are headed out to sea. Longest cruise ever, baby! Night one of a cruise is a tradition unlike any other. Night aesthetic. I would say the line, but I think everyone knows by this point. I'm going to say it anyways. Trademark Hoffman, happy travel. Trademark Hoffman, happy travel. <laughs> It really is. This is cool. We can't wait to play some laser tag. I have my own ship now, so I'm gonna be beep, 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 beep. And if you lose, you become a capsule man forever. Back in the room and we got some mail delivery. We got this freestyle daily, which I guess is pretty much like the cruise compass for NCO. The equivalent of that with uh, all the uh, activities and stuff that's going to be going on tomorrow for day two. Uh, Mr. Sexy Legs competition. Matt, should I sign you up for that? I'm going to go out on a limb, huh? And say <laughs> that I can comfortably speak for everyone. 
nobody wants that. And perhaps maybe on a more important note, we did get a notice that we are going to be time traveling tonight and we're going to be moving our clocks uh, back, which is nice because that means uh, we get an extra hour, hour of sleep. So if you have this itinerary, expect that. Expect to be just like Doc and Marty and uh, uh, go back to the future. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some... All right, friends, that is going to do it for us from our very first day ever of sailing on a Norwegian cruise line ship. I have to say, so far, I'm pretty impressed. Like, the food earlier at the local was bomb. Like, every single thing we had was delish. Um, everything's been pretty organized, and uh, I love our room. Oh, one thing I wanted to make note of that I think will be helpful for some is that we boarded at around two and our room was ready um because it's a suite because it's a suite but we heard over the intercom that i think like all the rooms didn't come available until like four it was four yeah ish some were ready before but i think like all of them were ready by four um so i just want to let you guys know that because that's kind of late that we've compared to what we've seen on other cruise lines so i wanted to let you guys know that so you know what to expect um but it went smooth for us personally it was ready you know our room was ready when we got on board and it, it was just a really really fun boarding day lots more fun is coming our way this is a 12 night sailing so this is just the beginning so we want to thank you once again for joining us for today's video but we will see you back tomorrow for day number two day at sea on board the Norwegian Joy. But until then, we're signing off for the night. See you tomorrow. Happy, Happy travels! travels. <laughs> Joy to cruising. Let's take and get, take, get. Let's get some Z's. I miss Christmas. My dad's out of the room. So we set up his bed to look, look like there was a person in it. But it's not a person. It's just pillows and my hat and Matt's sunglasses. That's your dad's sunglasses. Oh, that's even funnier! <laughs>